Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to plot a network diagram by using these activities. Uh, for each activity, three time estimates was given. Total 10 activities are there. By using these activities, I'm going to plot a network diagram in program evolution and review technique. That is nothing but a PERT. So first one is one to two is one activity. So after completion of this one to two activity, there are three activities parallelly starting. That is uh, one to two after completion of one to two, two to three and two to four and two to five. So first we need to plot one to two in network diagram. Uh, there are uh, activities and events are there. So these circulars, the circles are called events and these arrow marks are called activities. So for one to two, I represented as one to two and after that two to three, two to three. But completion of this activity, three activities are started parallelly. So two to three, two to four and two to five. After completion of two to three, uh, three to seven activities are started and completion of two to four, four to six activities started and two to five. After completion of 2 to 5, 5 to 6 was started and after that 6 to 7 and 7 to 8 like that he given. So by using these activities, we plotted this network diagram. So this is nothing but so 1 to 2 is the preceding activity for these three activities and 3 to 7 is uh, for 3 to 7. This is the preceding activity and this forward is a succeeding activity and backward pass is a preceding activity. So like that we will uh, we'll plot this diagram. So after that, there are three time estimates was given that is TO, TM and TP. That is nothing but TO is nothing but optimistic time. TM is nothing but most likely time and TP is nothing but pessimistic time. So we need to find out uh, for this activity, how many hours or how many days we need to complete this activity. So for that expected time formula is T equal to TO plus 4 TM plus TP by 6. So TO value, we know that for one to two activity, that is 2 and TM value you know that that is 5 4 into 5 plus TP value is 8 by 6 I got 5 if it is days we represent it as days but here everything is okay but here 3 to 4 he given that 0 so 0 is nothing but a dummy activity so there is no duration so we just represent it in dotted lines so like that I calculated for all the activities and I wrote the days here 5 12, 6, 4, 4, 10, 8, 10, 8. So after calculating all these, we need to calculate the uh, critical path. So critical path is nothing but after adding all the values, we will get the maximum value. That is nothing but 1, 2, 2 is one path. I mean one activity. So 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 7, 7, 2, 8. That is one path. And 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 4, 4, 2, 6, 4, 2, 7, sorry, 6, 2, 7 and 7, 2, 8 is one path. And 1 to 2, 2 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 7 and 7 to 8 is another another path. So after adding all these three paths, we will get the maximum value. So that is the maximum duration of completion of the project. So like that, we will plot the critical path. I hope you understood this. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.